What? I know we have weird toilet paper because that's all the store would give us. So we just found out that they changed the hospital policy, like the visitor policy. Yeah, when it comes to delivering babies and uh, Chloe freaked out. I didn't freak out. Freaked out a little bit. Okay, a little bit, but that's because, <laughs> because I found out that you can't have more than one visitor. So my mom can't be there, my sisters can't be there. And then also, if you leave, you can't come back. If you were to leave the hospital, you wouldn't be able to come back. Anyway, so it's so, so I can't strict. come back, if I go outside, I can't go back in, even if I get re-screened? Yes. Yeah, and then, and only one visitor, and only you are allowed, or only one person is allowed. Okay, so the reason why I freaked out a little bit is because last time I had my mom, my sister, <laughs> and my aunt who all had babies and knew exactly what to do and how to help me through it. You left out that I was there. You were sleeping. I, I <laughs> with, you labored for 28 hours. I didn't sleep the whole time. Like 28 hours. You, I, I didn't sleep the whole time. But you took a nap. Yeah, after 24 hours, I took and a then little Then I took nap. a nap while you took a nap. You were asleep well before <laughs> I was. It's true. Well, it was hard. Oh, I'm sorry that it was hard for you. I mean, it kind of was. <laughs> it was. A lot to look at, a lot to see. It was very stressful. You know, I just remember, I remember you having like back labor and then you standing and leaning over the table and then your mom being on the right your sister being on the left and your aunt being behind you and all three of them pushing on your lower back to massage you and then I was in the corner like good job guys way to go even when they gave you the epidural the doctor was like okay so he was explaining the procedure to, to, to you and then he was like you can only have one person in the room when we do the epidural so I'm gonna ask everyone but your husband to leave and I was like, okay, that's cool. And then you kicked me out <laughs> and you had your mom stay for it, which okay. I understand. I get it. Yeah. No, so would you be upset if I chose my mom as my visitor? As the one visitor for the birth of my child? <laughs> yes. I definitely would be offended if I had to stay at home while someone else helped you deliver my baby. Okay, well, if you're going to be there, if you're going to be my one visitor, you actually have to train for it. And you have to know what you're doing. Let's breathe together. Remember, you don't have to do it exactly like me. It is very flexible with this J breathing, whatever is comfortable for you. All right, let's do the breath together. Okay, let's breathe in. Then so you wanna be relaxed. Remember, you're expanding your tummy as you inhale and exhaling through your mouth all of that tension. Let's do this together. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That is not a neck pillow. It's really nice though. Honey. Mm. Don't forget to breathe. What? Let me see your hand. Okay, it's just too hard. <laughs> How's that? That's fine. Should it be harder? Andy, if you're not gonna take this seriously, I'm gonna have my mom. What? 